Oh, do we have a challenge today. Good evening. In today's Made You Paint, we are going to be doing Chloe's painting. It's just so cool looking. And Chloe says, this may be a bit of a challenge, but I would honestly die if you even saw this, let alone painted it. You're gonna challenge me, Chloe? Huh? Huh? You wanna challenge me? Well, guess what, Chloe? I just so happen to love challenges. And we're gonna do it, Chloe. We're gonna make it happen. We're gonna, we're gonna make this happen. <laughs> God, I hurt my hand. We're gonna make this happen, Chloe. If you enjoy this video, or the amount of hype that I have for this video, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I know one day YouTube is gonna take away the little subscribe button in this corner, and people are gonna be like, what are you pointing to? I know it's gonna happen. Remember this video the day that happens. I think the best way to go about starting this one is going to be to outline it with an eyebrow marker and kind of establish where my face is going to be opening. I want to make sure that I have enough room for the flowers, which should be easy because I got a nice big head for it. And I want to keep in mind that I think I'm going to move my face a little lower. Okay, so I might not have as big of a space on the side of my face. I was anticipating myself having a larger head, but that's okay. I think this needs to be a little rounder. I am then going to paint my whole face green using green body paints. I'll get to my body later. I want to do my face first. No particular reason why. I have no reasoning for that at all. I just reorganized my paints, by the way. They're beautiful. Look at this. Ah. Oh. I'm also gonna add some highlights using a lime green body paint and then also a darker green eyeshadow to add the contour. Before I actually do the contouring, I just prime my eyes and I'm also going to apply some lime green eyeshadow to my lids and then a little bit of a darker green to my crease. I'm then going to continue that darker green to create my shading. I'm also gonna add a little bit of white to highlight some areas and add a little bit of lime green over that. Using green and a little bit of black, I'm then going to fill in my eyebrows and line my eyes using black eyeliner. I feel like I look like the Disney magic mirror right now. Okay. Now to start on all of the flowers. I'm gonna start with the white flower first. I'm going to lay down white body paint and then I'm going to shade with a little bit of blue and a little bit of purple eyeshadows. And of course, give it a yellow center. I'm then going to move on to the red flowers using red body paint. Surprise, I'm using yellow. <laughs> this look would probably be so much easier if I had some knowledge of flowers. But I don't know anything about flowers. It'd probably be easier if I could just be like, ah, uh, yes. This petunia. I do know a little bit about roses though. Fun fact, my favorite flower is actually a tulip. Love tulips, they're so pretty. I would much prefer to have a tulip over a rose. For the bottom flowers, I'm then going to add the yellow one at the bottom and there's also a little violet one.
going back to green, I'm then gonna fill in all the leaves that are in the background and also fill in the black behind the flowers. To separate the two even more, I'm now going to take black body paint and just do a thin line around my face that's coming off of my face. I'm then going to take a very dark green body paint and outline this entire thing and also add a little bit of a light green highlight to that. I'm then just going to paint the rest of myself green and I'll take a little spot off for the beat. I'm also going to add black to the little section that we have missing here still and then a little bit of really dark green right. For our little bee friend, I'm going to take off a little bit of the body paint in here and then fill in our bee. Chloe, your challenge was accepted, and here is what I came up with. Look how weird my hand looks! Now to be fair, it was a challenge. Mainly because I can't see the side of my face! Chloe, I really hope you like it, and I will definitely be looking for your comment in the comment section below. I want you to give me a pass or fail on this challenge. If you would like to submit your artwork to possibly be turned into a body paint, please make sure you use the hashtag MadeYouPaint on Twitter and on Instagram. The artwork must be your own. It cannot be somebody else's artwork unless it is your child. Also, just so you guys know, I do check up on the artist's social media like after I post the Made You Paints to see like what people are saying and like comments and likes and everything. And I went on the last one that I did and they got almost 800 likes on their picture and I was like, ah! I was just casually going through their profile, see what was going on. I like to check, I like to see what the community brings, our kindness, so thank you. It made me very, very, very happy last night to see that. I don't want to take it off. <laughs> I'll do you one better. Why is Gamora?